Well, if you got a dollar, just lays it down. You know that I got rhythm that could suit your budget fine. Oh, can... Hi, this is Patrick with Trusty Huckster Mercantile. Welcome to my channel. If you've been following my channel for a while, uh, particularly over the last couple of months, you will know that I've been, well, obsessed is probably not the right use of the word, but I'll just say dedicated to working with a fundraiser uh, that I help organize for the Just One More Dachshund Rescue, J-O-M-D-R.org. We did the fundraiser earlier in uh, the month, earlier in November, but it was pretty much several months worth of work to try and get that organized, get everything that was being donated, whatever. You know, if you want more information, go watch the videos. But what was happening during that time is it seemed like almost all of the videos that I was putting out were about the Doxies, and that's fantastic. And we did raise more money this year than we raised last year, so yay, go Doxies. But it also meant that from the regular aspect of my channel, I was struggling. I was traveling more. I was getting inundated with donations of physical donations, which I was selling for the fundraiser. And in the middle of all of that, I turned 51. And the kindness of many of the my viewers and many people that I now consider friends that I've made through the vintage community sent me gifts during uh, for my birthday, so during the month of October, and I am just a heel. I, I didn't, I think I thanked, every, I hope I thanked everybody at the time, but I got some really cool stuff and I was cleaning some things up, moving some of the doxy stuff away. Like I can actually see my floor. And I came across the box of where I put all of these things because I specifically wanted to do a video to showcase some of the things I got. So it is late, but I'm still going to do it. And you know, Thanksgiving's right around the corner. So I'm thankful. We can act like this was on purpose that I'm doing it this way, but it's not. I just got busy. But I did really appreciate the items that I received. It's so kind, and it's actually kind of... I don't even know the word for it, that basic strangers... I mean, I, I talk to people in chats and that, but basic, people I've never met are they sent me gifts. And some of them really hit a slam, a uh, little, uh, what, what was my, th I don't do sports analogies, hit a home run uh, in what they gave me. And I got some great stuff that will absolutely become part of my permanent collections. And uh, right out of the gate, I will start with a viewer. Uh, she is not a, re well, I think technically she is a reseller, but she does not um, have a YouTube channel. I think she sells on eBay, if I remember correctly. Uh, but she and her husband uh, watch the uh, show. And I have specifically expanded my wardrobe at the behest of the husband. So this was from Melody and Halem. They sent a number of items. And a lot of these were sent, uh, people were sending donations for the dachshunds. And then they threw something in there with it that was for me. Uh, and in some cases, they're like, and if you don't want it, you can give it to the doxies, which kind of gave me a little bit of a complex because then I felt if I kept something that I wasn't going to be raising money for the doxies. Well, Melody and Halem sent a ton of stuff. They were the ones that donated the big doxy hat that I wore, and we ended up uh, auctioning that off on eBay, and I think it sold for almost 50 bucks. So they did give me a lot of different things, and one of the items that they put in the box for my consideration is a trunk down elephant. And if you have followed my channel, you know that Katie from Vintage and Vinyl and I are on a crusade to save all of the poor trunk down elephants because everyone wants their trunk up brethren and no one thinks the trunk down elephants are lucky. Everyone thinks trunk up elephants are lucky. I think trunk down is even more lucky because they know they are overlooked. And so if you buy one, they will give you even more luck to make up for the fact that they're not as ostentatious as their trunk up friends. So this is an absolutely beautiful piece. It's actually got some really nice weight to it. Probably should have shown it to Katie. I, I, I still will. She would probably be able to identify the wood. It's very heavy. It's very solid. And it's the darkness and the grain to me kind of looks like it's walnut, but it could be something else. Uh, it just absolutely gorgeously done piece. And so I don't really have a trunk down elephant collection. I mean, it's just something that we do for fun, but I think I kind of might've started one. I don't, you know, please don't send me more. I mean, I like this one, but I, I have no interest in actually developing a huge collection, but this is just a beautiful piece of wood. I can incorporate this into my home decor and it's just gonna look great. So this was a super nice uh, gift from Melody and Halo and I really enjoyed it. And they threw some fun stuff in there too. 
Uh, they know I have a thing for coasters. Now, I don't necessarily build a coaster collection. I don't need any more. I have way more coasters than a, a single gentleman should ever have in his home. But they did send me some fun ones. They sent me uh, probably more modern, but some German uh, beer uh, coasters. These might, you know, I might put these into the fundraiser next year, or I might just start using them. They're not gonna, you know, if they get wet, they're probably, they're, bar, they're pub coasters. They just, there's got, there's some cool graphics. Like, I have no idea who this is. I'm assuming it's a beer. Um, they, the hat they got me was from Oktoberfest. So I don't know if these also came from Oktoberfest. Insurrection Ale Works. And what was this one? The Church Brew Works from, oh, Pittsburgh, which is where they live. So this was a Pittsburgh one. So it was just a fun little add-on and uh, I do appreciate them. I think they're cool. And I do like coasters and I think everyone should have them. Uh, but those were kind of a fun one. And then they also threw in uh, they pay attention. I give them uh, brownie points. They gave me, I love coasters. I think for Trunk Down Elephants. And I did a triptych on World Fair a memorabilia. And I had shown at one point my Globe collection. And that's where those two collections overlap because the 1964-65 New York World's Fair had the Unisphere, which basically is a globe, as its centerpiece. And so they got this really cool tip tray uh, from the 64, 65 uh, World's Fair presented by U.S. Steel. So uh, kind of a cool little addition. I will add that to my collection because it's small. It's going to fit in really nicely. And I do love the stuff from the World's Fair because of that Unisphere. I just think that's kind of a cool thing. So another uh, viewer that sent some stuff in. He also has, uh, he does not have a YouTube channel, but he also has been on my channel. He did a deep dive uh, with me on his collection of uh, travel menus, vintage cruise ship menus. And that is Sam, stud with a stash, uh, Sam Doyen, who shows up in the chats, but he also uh, edits the Instagram channel, Dining at Sea. And that's how I actually found him. It's an absolutely beautiful collection and I have built my collection. It's entirely his fault because he just shows such cool stuff that I'm always, was always, on the, I am still always on the lookout uh, for cool pieces. And first he sent me as just kind of a little gift with the Doxy uh, coming up, an actual birthday card. Showed up by itself, not in with anything else. And it's a little Doxy magnet that was attached to the front of the card. I just thought that was cool in and of itself. And then uh, about a week later, I got from an eBay seller. So it didn't come directly from him. It came with the address of somebody I didn't know. And it was one of the most gorgeous cruise ship menus I had seen uh, and definitely one I did not have in my collection. So this is this beautiful, there's the parrot, you know, with this tropical uh, motif going on. It's from the American President Lines. And this one is from just after World War II. It's from 1948. So just some really cool graphics. This was the dinner menu, uh, JL McKay, Chief Steward. It was their at sea day. Sometimes it says where they were going. I don't see this one saying where it was going, but HL Shirts was the executive chef. Um, so appetizers, table celery, olives, mixed pickles. The soup was fresh artichokes uh, with jellied beef broth. Yeah. Uh, vegetables, the potatoes are baked Idaho, fried sweet, Anna. I've never heard of Anna potatoes. Uh, dressings were mayonnaise, tarragon, Thousand Island, French and Russian. Cheese, they had Trappist cheese. Are there Trappist monks? Do they make the cheese? Anyway, you know, so these are just these cool little time capsules. But what I've been doing is I have large poster sized frames and I kind of just like, uh, lay these in there as a collage and this is a nice big uh, profile piece of it super colorful uh, It's gonna look great as once I get enough to fill another frame I will definitely put that in there and that was super cool of Sam uh, to send that to me So again somebody I haven't met viewer not another reseller uh, He has bought some he's bought things from me, but he's not he doesn't have a YouTube channel. It's just you know Consider him a friend and I think it's awesome that he sent me that uh, another uh, friend that I've developed through YouTube, now she is a reseller, nothing wrong with that, but it was funny because I had seen when she bought this. Now she did not outline that she bought it for me, uh, but I did see her video and she did a haul video that when she picked this up, she knows I have a thing for theater. This came from Beth at Carolina Princess Sweet Treats and Pretties. I have been on her channel, she has been on my channel, 
and she found she is based, she's a Carolina princess, but she lives currently in Texas. So it was cool that uh, she got this theater program from the Best Little Horror House in Texas. Uh, new musical comedy, this one was uh, copyrighted in 1978. This is for the stage production of it that did become the movie with Dolly Parton and Burt Reynolds. Uh, but this was June Terry and William Larson doing the uh, stage version of it. And this was performed... Was this a Broadway production? Doesn't say. this. So this might have just been the program. It's got all the lyrics to the songs. This might have been a program that they did for both the Broadway version and the tour. So you could buy one of those gift programs because it's got the big format pictures, you know, from different um, different uh, shots from the production and then large format bios with the picture as well as the bios of the actors. So these are just cool. I do not have a lot of programs in my collection. I do a lot with the playbills, um, but this is a really cool formatted piece. It's going to look great framed. So I have not seen the stage production, love the movie version of it. Um, there is a sequel to the stage production, Best Little Whorehouse Goes Public. Um, that was a flop, so those the memorabilia for that is actually super valuable. But this was popular as well, and it's super cool. And just, again, a super nice addition. She had sent some items donated for the fundraiser, and she threw that in on top with a birthday card the birthday card, uh, which I just thought was super sweet that, you know, again, I've never met her, um, consider her a friend, but all, you know, friendships through, uh, the vintage community. So thought that was cool. Also another viewer slash reseller. Uh, she is officially it's Mr. And Mrs. Berkeley girl. So it's Bob and Katie. Uh, when she does her YouTube channel, she says she's the other Katie. And I had started referring to her as Katie 2.0. And admittedly, I don't think I ever knew her husband's name. So these were, this was a gift. She also donated a bunch of really nice items for the fundraiser. And these were thrown in with a little tag that this was for my ephemeral for, from Bob and Katie 2.0. And they are just some small little ephemera pieces that I think are super fun, a, real, a nice vintage uh, flag. So when I do something for Memorial Day, 4th of July, Veterans Day, whatever, um, super cool pack of Denison's gummed uh, stars the little gold stars. So I want to give myself a gold star for the day. I have that. It's a nice, a cool old uh, vintage picture. That one has dogs in it. This will admittedly probably end up going into the fundraiser next year. Uh, a lot of, when I get gifts, if they're not for a particular collection, and that makes me sound like super weird or super, I don't know, greedy. And that's not what I mean. But instead of building a collection, I appreciate these. I will donate these into the fundraiser and it's got dogs on them. So I can fund donate to a fundraiser and it'll make money. So it was a very nice gift. I will enjoy this, but I'll probably put it in as a uh, gift or as a, you know, added to a box for um, the fundraiser. And then again, well, okay. They also sent me a, a cool ship postcard. This was also, ironically enough, this is also from the American President's line. I don't know how that happened. I did not show anybody. Well, I, I might have shown this in my, when I got it, I think I did post it on Instagram, thanking Sam for it. So they might have seen that, but wow, that's putting two and two together. I'm impressed. So this was an American President's line uh, uh, postcard. And then a really cool note card with some, I love just vintage, the when they put vintage graphics on the cards. And they had found, once again, paid attention, they paid attention to what I like, just the kind of stuff that I like. It is a Bond clothing, uh, two trousers, always payment plan notebook. So it's this tiny little huckster notebook that you would have had Possibly the salesperson at Bond Clothing would have had this in their pocket. Uh, heads you win. Our new Bond felts look like $5 hats and wear like $5 hats. They're hand blocked and richly lined with satin, yet they cost only $275. So actually, this probably would have been a giveaway. Um, it was at Wabash at Monroe. Oh, it's actually a Chicago based company. So it's just a very cool vintage piece. I love, I mean, this, I would think that, although the hats fi being $5, this might be getting into World War II, but it looks a little bit older than that. I just love this stuff. And this, look, this will look great, my ephemeral, because I just love these little 
salesy advertising, like these little huckster items, and they hit it right on the head. This was a perfect little addition. I love the graphics, love the age, again, kind of like the, the subtle tones. I don't do kitsch very well, uh, but this stuff I absolutely love. So that was a great, uh, far, a great gift, again, from Mr. and Mrs. Berkeley Girl. I will try to remember Bob's name going forward. Uh, I referred to him as Mr. Katie once. Um, so Bob and Katie 2.0. Uh, another viewer, he happens to be local. Uh, he's helped me. Uh, he helped me a lot for the fundraiser. He actually helped pack uh, some of the shipments that went out after the fundraiser. So it was uh, absolutely helpful. He donated. He gave me the shirt that I wore at the fundraiser. The uh, dachshund shirt. The the Hawaiian shirt with the dachshunds on it. So he was definitely supporting that. But again, around that same time, he it was my birthday and he knew that in this household, my daughter was a German major. Uh, we, are, we love all things German and Austrian. And so this was just a cool old book um, from 1910 about German composition in absolutely perfect condition. So again, a great addition for my ephemeral because it's rigid, it'll actually be able to hold up some other things, but it's literally, I mean, I, I do the antiques and this is literally an antique that's over hundred years old. So this was a great little addition. And then he again, paid attention. He knows that I've got a thing for theater and where I got a program from Beth, he actually gave me an entire play. And so this is a vintage play from a company that still exists, the Dramatic Publishing Company. I think they're currently in the suburbs of Chicago now, but this shows that they were in Chicago. And I don't remember if we found a, oh yeah, copyright 1898. I love this stuff. So it's also great about plays that are copyrighted 1898, they're public domain. So if I ever wanted to do something with it, I don't have to pay royalties. So it's What Ailed Maudie. <laughs> so it was a children's play, uh, but that's okay. Some cool graphics on the front. I, you know, Plays don't tend to have a lot of art in the middle, but it's got the play, the spinster's convention is then described. There's just some great ads in here advertising other plays. But again, just a cool little item that it's gonna look great and ephemeral. And at some point I might actually try and use it or you know, read it, do a uh, podcast, or not a podcast, but like a, an audio play or something, who knows? Like it's just great to have these old pieces because if I do something with it, pretty much guarantee nobody else is um, if this play is even still available. So it's a great snapshot in time and a great uh, gift from uh, yet another viewer. So that was the bulk. Uh, well, I'm not gonna say the bulk because what I've got to show next was a lot of things from one person who should not have given me so much because she already gives me so much by helping me with my sales, doing uh, partnering with me for videos. She's part of the triptych. She does the duo dives with me. And so of course I'm talking about Katie from Vintage and Vinyl. That is Katie 1.0, she came first. So Mrs. or Mrs. Berkeley girl has to be Katie 2.0. Katie from Vintage and Vinyl uh, gave me all kind of gifts and those are what's coming up next. So Katie sent me a fairly heavy box and there were several items within it and a wonderful note. And she, if you've never purchased anything from, uh, from Katie, she does uh, the wax seals. She like puts the red wax on there and then presses in her logo into it. It's just super cool. And I had this variety of gifts. And then as if that wasn't enough, I ended up getting another gift that came separately because she ordered it for me and it came directly to me. So I mentioned earlier, Katie and I, uh, that is Katie 1.0. So Katie from Vintage and Vinyl and I are on the crusade to uh, bring attention and save all of the trunk down elephants. She also paid attention. She understood the assignment. I love coasters. And she actually found, and she actually sent them to me. She found this collection of Pierre Frey, Pierre Fry um, napkins. They're contemporary, but they have this great, um, you know, East Asian, maybe Indian motif of these elephants that are trunk down. And so she actually lent, cut out the art or cut out the, the that picture from the napkin and then had them laminated. I have a pair of travel coasters and I took these with me on my last trip. I should have showed, I did a video for my hotel room and I should have showed them because they were absolutely protecting the cheap hotel furniture from my beverage. So I thought that was absolutely super awesome that she went to the time to do the personalization of taking a cool image and then making it into a coaster knowing it would be something that I would use. Uh, she also sent me a series of books you know, the whole reason I do started doing deep dives and I now do the triptychs with her and Nate 
all three of us just love the research. We love getting the details and we don't know everything. So that's why we like to learn from each other and we like to do these videos and we hope other people like, you know, learning as well and enjoy, you know, we try and do it in a fun way, but we are trying to educate so that people, if they're out in the wild or, you know, whatever, if they see something, they're like, oh, hey, I remember, I learned something about that. And so she has, I, she is my go-to person for glass. Uh, Tim from over the years is another great person uh, that knows glass. George knows everything from the Antique Nomad. Uh, so, I, you know, there's multiple people that I can go to, but Katie is definitely one who is super anxious and super interested in helping out right away. I'm not saying that, I don't know why I said that. It's not like George and Tim don't, um, but she ended up sending me a couple of books that are specifically for glass reference. So this one was The Colors and Patterns of Depression Era Glassware. So she has talked about that book before. And then she did her, I think it was the triptych. I don't think it was the duo die. Yeah, she did the triptych. Uh, she told the tale of Faustoria. And she talked more specifically about coin and how the coin and... Uh, Americana patterns were were replicated, but this is a full Faustoria glass, and I love it's. It, they take up a lot of space, but I pull this stuff out all the time, way more than I go onto the online because sometimes you just need to skim through it to figure out the picture and figure out what you have. And I love when I get the ones that are branded. These are nice too because they give a nice little overview. But if I know something's Faustoria or somebody says it's Faustoria, it's great to be able to go to a book. That includes it, and I did not have a Faustoria book, so I was I now have my own personal collection. And then, because I just like history in general, she lives in Florida, and she gave me one of those history guides uh, of Florida that has the the postcard history series. I love this stuff. I love architecture. I just love all of that kind of stuff. Um, I've also gotten in the habit when I am on her channel, if you don't know Katie from Vintage and Vinyl, make sure you're following and you're subscribing her channel. When she puts does her videos, pretty much any time she's on anyone's channel, including her own, she's always very well dressed, way better than me, and she's always wearing a hat. So I've now gotten in the habit, I will wear a hat when I'm on her channel, and she sent me this cool like hat pin, um, that would go on the side of the uh, the hat band. Which way does it go? There's a branch. So it kind of, I mean, I don't maybe I guess it goes like that. Although that seems like it'd be kind of tall. Maybe it's supposed to go at an angle. Um, but it's just the this little the little feather put into this little like almost it's like a little brooch. But yeah, I can put it on my hat. I wear it as a brooch too. But I'm not big into the brooches. I'm but it's kind of cool because I really just have simple hats. I mean, I really don't have a hat collection. Uh, so I just have a couple, you know, costume hats that I've had for theater. And so it's kind of fun to dress them up. Uh, we each have matching elephant brooches, trunk down, of course. And uh, so this will just be a nice little variety on some of those. So that was all in this, super generous. Again, couldn't believe that she sent me all this stuff. And then, you know, because I hadn't done a video yet, it's all sitting in a box. And then like a week or two later, this box comes from Alaska. Like, Okay, I have shipped once to Alaska in my reselling business, and that was like almost at the very beginning. So I have not shipped to Alaska in a very long time, and I certainly haven't ordered anything from Alaska. She did, uh, I did a birth, I did a video for or a, a challenge collaboration for my birthday, which was finding vintage recipes and recreating them on air. And we did a live watch video, and of course, Katie participated in that. And she did a salmon sandwich recipe. This is the salmon that she used. It is evidently amazing. I cannot say I'm an, I am a salmon aficionado. I like salmon, but I'm not even sure I would know bad salmon from good. So this is Alaska smoked salmon from Captain Jim's. So they are, it came in this cool little box. It was shipped priority mail from Alaska. And it is a set of three of the little cans of Alaska, of Alaskan salmon. So she sent me the recipe that she used for her uh, sandwich and now I have the salmon. So I will be able to make uh, sandwiches using the salmon. So that was kind of a nice little bonus. I'd already felt overwhelmed with generosity with everything else she'd already given me. And then she sent me food. Can't go wrong with food. So that was all that I really wanted to cover. I really, again, I feel kind of bad that it took me so long to recognize these items because again, it's so generous and I hope they don't feel that the time it's taken me to you know, do this publicly that they feel I'm less appreciative. 
I simply was overwhelmed. And at some point things had to get put to the side and as great and as generous as I was with this, this didn't have as much of a timestamp on it as the Doxid Rescue did. So, you know, still not done with the Doxy Rescue. I'm still gonna have a few more things that are gonna be popping up that I need to sell or put onto eBay. But for the most part, that is kind of settling itself down. Holidays are coming. I just need to get my life a little bit more organized. And this was one of those that I just kept feeling guilty about. So. I can make myself feel a little bit better by at least publicly putting out this thank you. Uh, for all of those that I mentioned, uh, you know, if you're on Instagram, make sure you're following Dining at Sea, you know, so you can follow what Sam's doing. Uh, Melody, uh, Melody, I'll have links to all of their Instagram. Most of them have Instagram channels, even if they don't have YouTube channels. Uh, uh, Melody's Many Miscellaneous on Instagram. She all, Again, she does not have the YouTube. Beth at Carolina, it's on YouTube, is Carolina Princess Sweet. Try and do good with names. Carolina Princess Sweet Treats and Pretties. That's her YouTube name, and it's just Sweet Treats and Pretties on Instagram, so you can follow both of those. Uh, Katie is Vintage and Vinyl, and there's underscores involved. I think uh, I think there's underscores before and after the ampersand in Instagram, and I can't remember the YouTube one, so I'll make sure that those are linked, but it's Vintage Ampersand Vinyl. Um, that's, it's usually easier to find her that way. And then Mr. and Mrs. Berkeley Girl, they're in the chats with YouTube, but I don't I don't think they have a YouTube channel. I'm going to feel really bad if they do. So I will look that up. Um, I don't know if they post content or not, uh, but they are on Instagram and then they have an eBay store. Um, I'm not sure if I have a, if I have a link to that, but uh, I'll try and highlight that. Uh, Brian does not have um, he, a viewer, so he doesn't really post as much you know, vintage stuff. He's not a reseller, but he is on Instagram, Brian Hans. Uh making sure I didn't, I'm not like forgetting anyone in the summary. Um, so I think that was everything. So appreciate you hanging out. Appreciate you watching this video. Uh, but the reason I said all that is if you're not already following them on Instagram and or YouTube as appropriately, please do so. And, you know, share that you like their content or say that you tell them that you heard about them from me. I love to be able to pay it forward. You know, again, it's so generous that everyone sent me these gifts. You know, I, I hope if you maybe don't know all of those individuals, Maybe you'll find stuff at uh, Mr. And Mrs. Berkeley Girl's eBay channel or eBay store. Who knows? So appreciate uh, you watching. Appreciate you um, giving me all your time. And of course, appreciate you putting your trust in Trusty Huckster. Uh, thanks again for all your time, and I will talk to you again soon. Bye bye. Well, show me a sign if you're wishing me to stay. Otherwise, I say goodbye and finish out the day. That sunrise in the morning and you got nothing to say Oh, that's when I'll be headed on my way